All right, there's a little, uh, no, relax. It's a little piece of apple. It's a 50-50 shot if Salsa catches it. Either hits her in the face or she catches it. Oh, she caught it. Remarkable. Anyway, it's uh, it's trash picking day, so we're going trash picking. Salsa, stay around, protect the fort, and uh, we're going trash picking. It's going to be a long day. Well, it's been a long day, but we'll get into that later. Let's find some treasure. Let's do it. I think the lady just put this stuff out. Hey, this is broken. This one leg is needs some welding done. Scrap metal. Plant's a little dead. down here or am I just tripping it says careful blenders baking dish careful Someone smoking that you know what. It ain't legal here in Pennsylvania. I'll tell you that. Um, and it is strong. Oof. I don't know where it came from. I thought it was that box. I was like, man, I'm about to get in trouble just holding that box around. But I still smell it. Unless it is the box, and I don't know. But that might be a mystery box to go through later. Not like <laughs> Not like I don't have enough mystery boxes right now. So fun fact, I had this comment the other day. Someone left a comment uh, about one of my videos being out of order. And uh, I got to put my seatbelt on. It was something like with a, a rummage sale video. And then I posted another video. Or whatever it was. Um, and they thought it was out of order. But that wasn't the case. The only things that might be out of order are Saturday videos. I mentioned that a handful of times. So... Uh, I guess last Saturday I did post a pallet auction video. I was a little under the weather, so I don't think the video came out so well. Um, still fought through it. If you know what I'm talking about, pull the old Cal Ripken on it. Um, but uh, I did also do another pallet video today. And the fun fact is yesterday and today were days for the pallet auction. So... I've been doing a lot of work the last 24 hours and I'm really, really tired. In fact, I'm like physically depleted. And this is usually the way it is, probably once every month for myself. Um, but I'm gonna push through it and try to get out tonight and do the thing. But I have a lot of mystery boxes that I did not go through. I didn't film them and I didn't go through them because I just did not have time to do it. Uh, so that's why I make the joke about that box. So stay tuned, there will be another pallet auction video this Saturday. I guess part two or day two of a completely different auction. But we did it. So if you're wondering what all these like mystery items are in the back of my van, this is a, uh, oh. Well, that doesn't help. This box right here, I have not gone through. But still, you can still see its tapes. Can even probably do a little <laughs> unboxing in this video. Uh, plus, we have this box I just grabbed. This is like all like metal. It's like pots and pans, but like I'll even show you this. I can probably even show you right now. So yeah, this I don't even think I showed on the camera. Anyway, that's an aluminum pan. It shouldn't be like chalked over with like I don't even know charred seasoning. It's not supposed to be that color. So something like that. I'm uh, 
I'm just gonna, when I go to the scrap yard, I'm gonna just take it out and see if there's anything else in there. Uh, that was really stupid. I'm starting to get, <laughs> I'm starting to get tired, which equals lazy. So some might see it as being lazy and some other people might see it as being tired. So it is what it is, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I literally don't have space to like put that anywhere in my spare building. Like it's jam packed to the door right now. Uh, I filled this van up three times and uh, haven't made a trip to the landfill yet. So that's why that stuff's in there. Really don't want to break this glass taking this, but. This ain't gonna work. I'm gonna be a smart guy here. Put that down. That like that. That. Although I'm kind of tired, so I'm not trying to be an idiot and have that break and have what eight years of bad luck I don't know something like that over in that pile over there we have a um looks like a snow shovel and then a cooler that the whole lid's broken off it is raining I feel like we're having flashbacks to what like two weeks ago when it rained like every single day for like four days straight that was awful got hiding back here. Oh, things are falling over. This is a mess. I knew this was going to be a mess today. It's just going with the cards that you're dealt for today. I did get one of these. That's, that's, that's a bonus. Actually feels nice. Oh, what the heck was that? Just take apart. Those are always fun to do. Like I have all the time in the world right now, but they're always fun to do. Oh, it's raining pretty good now. Not sure how well it picks up on the audio on the video, but very therapeutic. Oh, this person's salty. Very therapeutic on the van. To listen to the the ringing the ringings of the uh, the water oh they're running the water drops hitting the top of the van. It's a nice looking lamp. It's a really shame about this. I mean, this would have sold for like twenty bucks, but it needs to be. Needs to be fixed, and that's above my pay grade and my time grade right now. I don't know about 20 bucks, maybe maybe 10 bucks. I mean, it is rusty. You gotta repaint it. Above my pay grade right now, above the time grade. Yeah. It looks like it's gonna be fun to figure out.
doing the best of what I can. Oh, now it's really pouring again. I don't think glass is going to be too much of an issue to get out. It's usually the predicament that I find myself in. Oh, that's ridiculously heavy. Oh, I gotta mess with it right here. Wow. Try rotate this. That ah, fit. Took it back. It's freaking magic. Freaking magician. That's what I am. Oh, it's pouring out here. Oh my goodness. That was rough. Oh yeah, this is a nice assortment of stuff. Oh, radio fire is all plastic. That will stay there. I've never done well with the uh, the newer radio fire stuff. I mean, some of it's metal and plastic, but I've never done well selling it. It's like the old stuff always. People always say, oh, that's neat, that's cool, how much you want for it. The new stuff, it's like, I guess because it's not a collector's item. Oh, it's interesting, because then you go to a store and spend 75 bucks for that. I really hope those are cast aluminum or steel, but definitely not resin or plastic. From afar, it looks like they're plastic. I won't be able to tell until I get out, though. They aren't one of those things. The resin ones don't sell, but the aluminum ones, everyone loves them. Hey, it looks like... I don't know, this looks like some rust on there. Now there's something. Don't ask me what, but there's something. Something that's worth more than, <laughs> more than scrapping them. Usually they aren't steel. Oh, it's missing a bolt. They don't stick to a magnet, so they are aluminum. Well, my left hand is completely falling apart. I think they're just missing bolts. That's what I'm guessing. I was gonna say, I don't think we're gonna get to it, guys. But I want to do a recap and include whatever was in that box. But I don't think it's happening. I also don't want to puncture this in case the Freon's still in it. I don't want that Freon all in my my van. It uh, it doesn't smell great, and uh, it's just, it's not good. All right, when I drove into town, I saw a whole pile up here on the left. Yeah, I might have some metal and stuff. It's got a grill, like I, I don't know if I have space for that. Pull around over here, I see a television. I got like three TVs in my van right now, or computer monitors. The guy at the pallet auction, well, if, if a lot didn't sell, he was pretty much like, just go ahead and take it if you can use anything. So I took every, <laughs> I took almost all the bins I can find when I went back to load up. Um, anything that had a green bin, I took it. And as you see, there's like television monitors there. Um, 
I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have space for that. I'd like to be nice and take it. Let's see. Between the space and the energy I have right now, it's, it's hurting my soul. I'm not someone who wants to constantly be like, oh, I'm so tired, I'm so burnt out, I'm working so hard, because I'm, I'm, just, I'm just not that kind of person. Like, I don't want to throw self-pity. However, I am feeling great. My back really kind of like, it's, you know when you like go for a good workout back in the day, if you ever worked out at some point in your life, and you're sore for like the next three days, well that's how I kind of feel like four hours after doing things. So, I'll probably hurt for the next couple days, it'll be alright. be all right. It did stop raining. Somewhat. Hopefully everyone had a great start to their week. This video is being filmed at the end of the week, so it's like I'm just like talking in the future. Anyway, I'll fit that TV. I mentioned it a bunch. I don't get paid to take those, but... I know the scrapyard makes money, and I'm good friends with the owner of the scrapyard. You know, all my neighbors grew up around him, so he's good friends with him. They actually do take care of me over there and they don't complain about me bringing in stuff so like if that thing is so broken up there and I have to bring it in I, that's that's gonna smell wonderful that smells awful that smells great I went through wonderful, smells great to awful. That sounds too good. Um, but I do like, I mean, it's, it's, I don't know. Maybe other people feel differently, but they're gonna probably make like two or three bucks on this television. Even if I don't make two or three bucks on it, like this is just going to the landfill. It's just gonna be more stuff that doesn't get recycled. Oh, it's not that hard. Alrighty. I have to make one more pit stop that'll be probably off camera. Friend Jeff said he has a bunch of scrap metal for me, so we'll see. Maybe we'll have one more. I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows? Trash picking taco stacks. What an adventure it was. All right. Well, I guess that wraps up. Ooh, man, my back is sore. It is. Uh, I can feel it right now. Um, that's going to wrap it up here. Wow, great. What a great shot right to end the video. Oh, this thing is busted up. Did I do that? Or was that like that? It might, I mean, they're probably throwing out for a reason. There's no cords with that. Also, there's something else I had that had no cords. This is not a great shot right here. Um, but yeah, I stopped off, got that stuff. Um, so, so we got some steel here. Um, I do have a handful of other stuff. I'm going to probably take... That doesn't even look like metal. That's like vinyl or something. Like that's metal. The trim is metal. Ah, did I just do that to myself? I think I just did that. Oh, oh try doing it again. Ah. Oh, I thought it was metal. I guess it's not. Gosh darn it. Oh, it's so heavy and it's not metal. Anyway, what a... 
what a day it's been. It's been fun. Thanks for tagging along. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this treasure hunt. I guess I'll just throw it out with my own garbage. It is what it is. I would love to show you that box that's down there, but I guess you'll just have to take my word for it. Whenever I do come across it, I'll try to let you guys know if there's anything really, really exciting in there. But uh, it's been fun. Thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoyed, as always, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more trash picking episodes. Getting closer and closer to that miraculous number of 900. Um, I don't think we got there just yet, but we're getting close. So stay tuned for that video and stay tuned for hopefully a thousand episodes. The longest trash picking on playlist on YouTube. And of course, until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.